Hey, Bowman Man. We're going to take just a minute and we're going to review the lines and spaces for the treble clef. Now, remember, a treble clef is written on a staff, and a staff is five lines one, two, three, four, five, and four spaces. One, two, three, four. Okay? So this would be first line, second line, third line, fourth line, and fifth line. We always count the lines and spaces going from the bottom up. Okay? Spaces, this would be first space. I'll use the abbreviation SP. Second space, third space, and fourth space. Okay? So, you should be able to identify the lines and spaces on the treble clef very easily by just counting them up. If you're going lines, it's first, second, third, fourth, fifth line. Spaces are first space, second space, third space, fourth space. Now we're going to start adding notes into those lines and spaces. You can put a note on every line and space going up. Those are all of the notes that will fit in all of the lines and spaces for these notes. Now, each one of these is on a line or a space. This would be, would be on the first line. So we're going to put first line. And you need to know that in the treble clef, the bottom line is an E. Okay? The next note is in a space, so we're going to put first space. And we would put the next letter in the musical alphabet on that note right there. So if this is E, this must be an F. Then we have second line, which would be after F is G. Then we have second space, after G is A. Then we have third line, after A is B. The next one is third space. And it would be after B is C. The next one is fourth line. And that would be a D. The next one is fourth space. After D is E. And after fourth space is fifth line and that would be an F. So you'll notice it's a musical alphabet. We started on E, E, F, G. After G, we repeat back to A, B, C, D, E, F. Anytime that you're going up, you go forward in the alphabet. Okay? Anytime you're going down, you go backwards. So look, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E. Now, if I was to ask you to identify this note right here, the first thing you would say is third line, and then you figure out what that is. It's between A and C, so it must be a third line B, okay? If I asked you to identify this note here, you determine whether or not it's a space, and then what the note is. So this would be a fourth space, one, two, three, fourth space, and in the musical alphabet, it would be after that note and that note, so it must be a fourth space E. It's going to be very important that you learn these very quickly and memorize them and be really competent on them. Keep practicing. You're going to be great.